right, so why don't you give a warm welcome to Mr. David Bristol. Bring him on up. I forget my name too sometimes. But usually there's a bit of alcohol involved. How's everybody doing tonight? You look like a great crowd out there. I'm lucky to be here tonight. I had a near-death experience earlier today. My wife and I were arguing. And uh, my wife of 10 years, we've been married 10 years, as she puts it, 10 years of freaking bliss. And I have to agree with her because, well, that's my job as a husband. But we were arguing and... Uh, it wasn't my fault, you know, it was one of those silly arguments, I forget what it was about now, but I sure remember what happened next. I walked by the bathroom and I saw her looking at herself in the mirror, and I made the, the classic mistake, I figured I was going to get her back. And as I passed by the bathroom door, I saw her and I said, you sure look fat in that outfit. And then I got about two steps past the door and realized she was naked in there. <laughs> So, um, balls gripped uh, tightly in hand, I made my escape, but uh, luckily I made it. Anybody have dogs? Nobody has a dog? Okay, thank you, thank you, okay. Are they male dogs or female dogs? Female? I will not have a male dog. I will only have a female dog, and I'll tell you why. Yeehaw! Mainly because when you're rubbing the chest and stomach of said canine, I do not like to come up short against the penis, dog penis there. Somebody said, Dave, that's homophobic. I'm like, well, you know, I have a lot of gay friends, and none of them sit around their house grabbing their dog's penis. So how can that be homophobic that I don't want to touch a dog's penis? I like the female dog because you can rub the whole belly, and it just makes you so happy. And I think, though, I made her a little bit too happy because um, I was coming out of the shower, drying my hair, and all of a sudden, I thought, oh, look down, there's my dog, who happens to be a Weimaraner, they use their noses for everything, thank God, that she didn't use her paws. I said, no, that's a bad girl, you have to wait for the peanut butter. <laughs> I'm disgusted with myself, too. <laughs> Juicy dogs choose Jif. I felt that. <laughs> so, um, Jonathan mentioned smoking. We have the smoking ban here in Austin. I quit smoking cold turkey about uh, nine years ago when my son was born. Still had cigarettes in my pack and just quit. Haven't smoked since then. Now if I can just give up the pot, the opium, and the crack, I'll be totally smoked. Right? <laughs> but being 40, you know, 40 is about the year that when you turn 40, it's the year that you're supposed to go and have the old prostate checked out, right? And uh, apparently I got the only... Uh, Brokeback urologist in Austin. <laughs> hey, Brokeback that was a great movie. It was a touching film. But he didn't kiss me first like the, they did in the, in the movie. But I can relate actually to Brokeback Mountain. I can relate to that. You know, two guys living their lives uh, in society that won't let them be who they want to be. And uh, I can kind of relate to that because I'm a liberal in a red state. Can't be who I want to be because, well, obvious reasons. Whenever I go to Williamson County, up north on Williamson County, I have to wear a Williamson County camouflage. That's right. Patriotic hat, grease stained t shirt that says something about fishing on it, and jeans. That's right. Because I don't want to get liberal bashed outside of Sonic by some guy driving an SUV with a Bush Cheney sticker on the back, you know? Our time is almost over together, friends. I appreciate you coming out. I'm going to have a heart attack here in just a second. But I want to tell you, if you have friends or family who are in the military, next time you see them, give them a big handshake, thank them for their service to our country, and tell them Dave Bristol says thank you, too. Good night, folks. Thank you, Dave Bristol. He's fine.